I am Megan Jo Wilson, proud author of the books, Who the Fuck Am I to Be a Coach? A Warrior's Guide to Building a Wildly Successful Coaching Business, and most recently, Who the Fuck Am I to Be a Rockstar? How to Stop Hiding and Start Rocking Your Coaching Business Like a Boss. These books mean so very much to me. They have changed my life, they have changed my business, they have changed the way I show up in the world. Before I wrote these books with The Author Incubator, I was a coach. I've been a coach for 15 years and I got clients through word of mouth because I was doing good work, but I never had a steady stream of clients. So after a particular election in the United States of America, I had a bit of a freak out and I uh, got very clear that it was time to up my game in terms of how I was showing up as a leader. And um, one of the messages I was getting in my meditations and prayers was that it was time to write a book. I had been a writer for much of my life. I loved creative writing. I am a songwriter, but I had never published a book. And I did not know what that meant, but shortly after I received that message, I saw a Facebook ad for a program called The Author Incubator and it spoke right to my heart uh, because this gorgeous woman was saying, if you have a message to share in the world and you wanna share it to a larger audience, a book is an amazing way to do that. I wrote my first book for newly trained coaches who are struggling with the same issue I had. So it was almost like writing a, a love letter to my former self the heart of it there's not a ton of practical business strategy but it's to keep coaches inspired and fulfilled and focused on their own purpose and mission i strongly believe that we attract clients when we show up for ourselves and when we are committed to a fulfilling life we become magnetic to our clients that book i just got an email actually yesterday i get emails every day from coaches saying i found your book this book has kept me inspired whenever I want to quit. I had one woman say it was like her Bible. Whenever she wanted to quit coaching, she'd open up a page and service, chapter on service and why it's important to stay connected to service. I wrote that book to serve those people and to be able to attract the people I wanted to work with and that I knew I could help. This book is really special to me. I wrote this because I got very clear that part of my purpose was to combine my love of singing and performing and fronting a band as a leader with my experience and passion for coaching to support women in particular who are struggling with shut down voices. Angela, who is a dear friend of mine and also a woman who loves to sing on stages, shared an experience she had where she sang on stage with a live audience and had this incredibly pivotal moment where she did this terrifying thing and she survived and just I think four months after that the author incubator was born because she knew that she was capable of doing scary things and surviving. What I so appreciate about the process with the author incubator is that we are given really specific structures to get crystal clear about why we're writing the book, who we're writing it to, what's the outcome that we want. So we have all this structure um, that puts the project into a very crystallized focus so you know what you are writing and what you're not. That being said, you still have to show up to the computer and write. There was just so much structure and actually coaching that I received from Angela directly that helped me with my mindset and how I was thinking of and perceiving the experience, how I was seeing myself. And what she would say over and over is keep writing forward and essentially be the person who writes the book. <laughs> like be the person who writes the book, become an author and then write the book. And um, it's an amazing approach to doing anything. It's the same thing I do in Rockstar Camp, right? Be a rock star and then getting on stage to sing will be easy. In my Rockstar Camp program, what we do is take the information in the book and apply it in real life and in sisterhood 
so that there's accountability and deepened learning. I'm actually here right now with a group of 12 women who went through this process. We've been working together for the last 12 months, going through all these tools and practices, which serve ultimately this experience we have here in Maine. We spend three days together workshopping and rehearsing for a live concert where each woman sings one song with a live band and an audience. She gets her hair and makeup done. She gets to be worshiped and adored. And ultimately the practices serve the concert, but of course they're really meant to serve her leadership in the world. Every practice can translate into her business, into her finances, into her relationships, into her health, into her family. And that's what I get excited about. Now I'm attracting women who are ready to make that investment in time, in money, and in themselves. And what that gives me is an entirely new way of running a business where I have the revenue to do workshops overlooking the ocean and have lobster dinners and have them worshipped as the queens they are with hair and makeup and a personal stylist and a professional photographer and a videographer and you know all the things that they deserve and that is part of my mission and it just wouldn't work without the revenue um, that ultimately these books have been able to give me by opening doors and sharing my message and showing up as I am. People do, they ask me what's it like to be living your dream and living your purpose and my honest answer is sometimes it's amazing and sometimes it's terrifying but i know now that i'm so deeply committed to it really from my work with the author incubator with other coaches i've worked with there's always going to be the next scary thing that's the very cool thing about life what it is is deeply fulfilling and fulfillment is not necessarily easy and it's not necessarily happy, but it's on purpose. What you get to do is see your impact out in the world, to see these women that are here, they're all around us, they're digesting their experience, moved to tears, seeing themselves in a different way, and then to see the results that they get, it's just the best, it's just so fun. I'm so proud of myself, I have designed a life and a career that is like completely aligned with my gifts and the things I love to do and these books have just been such a huge part of that. These books mean so much to me, this author incubator means so much to me, Angela means so much to me, her team means so much to me and um, I tell people all the time if you have a book inside of you go to the author incubator, get it written, change lives. These books are not perfect. They probably have typos. They probably have incoherent sentences and they change lives. That's what I'm up to.